It is definitely gonna... Yes! Okay, it has gone off. Oh, my. Maybe I should try and put out the fire first. That might make sense. Yeah, what I thought was gonna happen did actually happen. We have got the car. We're moving the plane around, but it is glitched into the ground. Oh, if it can turn fully, we might be able to pull the car out the back. Hey! Here we have a plane with a bomb in its wing. Today, we need to use this plane to transport this car to the mainland. If we are late, this thing will explode, and spoilers, we will probably die. So, let's load this thing in as quickly as we can and get going. Okay, so in order to get the car in here, we actually had to fold the seats. That's okay. Let's go ahead and get inside of here, close the door, turn the parking brake off, and drive in. Do I want to go forwards or backwards? I'm not at the right angle here, but we can make it. There we go. I would say that we are parked. <laughs> All right, close the ramp. There we go. Close the door. And now we can probably get in and fly. All right, start the engines. There we go. There's the throttles. Okay, batteries right there. Instrument lights, cockpit light, landing lights are right there. Parking brakes right here. And we should be able to just take off and go. Maybe. We are throttling up. Here we go. So far, so good. It's totally working. Yes. Get ourselves into the sky. Come on. Yes. And that is brilliant. Remember, we do have a bomb in the wings. So that's important. But everything so far seems to be going really, really well. We should probably try and spot the bomb, actually. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and have a little look out of here. I can't see a bomb on that wing. Let's have a little look on the other side. I can't see past the engines. I actually can't. So we just got to get as close as we can to the other island. And uh, we got to land. Okay, so I believe there is some sort of airfield somewhere over here. That is probably where we are going to try and land. Uh, if I open up this door, obviously the car is right here. Uh, I haven't strapped it down or anything like that. And maybe I should have. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I probably should have. But never mind. Okay, I am not going to be able to see the runway. It has just got extremely foggy and extremely rainy. I don't know if it's windy, though. I don't think so. But we have to find a runway. Oh, it's over there. Okay, I'm going the wrong direction. Oh, I can't see anything. This is not good. All right, whatever. I really don't know what's going on. So we're just... What is that? Trim active. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, we need to just continue flying. Obviously, the bomb has issues. Now that we've got lost, I don't think we've got enough time to land. So it's probably going to go off. And when I say probably, it is definitely going to... Yes! Okay, it has gone off. Wait, we've lost all control. I've actually lost all control. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, the car came through from the back! Oh my goodness, look at this! Oh, it is, it is so dead. There's not much I can do to fix this. It's glitched out into the ground and everything is broken. I want to see if I can pull the car out. I know it's not going to work. But I really want to try. So if we can open up the door, that would be fantastic. All right, we've opened the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, how am I going to get this out of here? There's no way. Rescue plane is on its way. So we're going to try and use this aircraft, which is the same aircraft we've just crashed, to hopefully make it work. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> I'm going to try and tow it out of the ground. It just doesn't make any sense, but we're going to go for it. Also, this landing pad... Oh, this place for landing is not the best. I've touched down, but I am quite far away now. This is, yeah, not amazing. I'm going to have to turn around. Okay, just ignore everything that is happening right now. There is a bunch of explosions and stuff like that. It is not very nice. Uh, we don't really have any attachment points that we can really use, uh, but the ones that we do have, we're going to attempt to use. So let's grab this one. Let's run down into the fiery explosion-ness of this guy and try and attach it onto there. Okay. <laughs> this is really not good. I don't know why I'm doing this. All right, I've grabbed the other one. Let's go and attach that onto the other side if possible. There we go. They are both attached. And now we just floor it into the sky and hopefully don't die. All right, we're in. We've closed the door. We've uh, closed the ramp. Let's go ahead and just throttle up and go, I think. So throttle up to full. This is not going to go well. <laughs> this is this is really not going to go well. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, what I thought was gonna happen did actually happen. Okay, new idea, new idea. Let's just try and get the cargo. Right, so do this, do this. Yes, uh, we need to detach. Oh my. Maybe I should try and put out the fire first. That might make sense. All right, I can't, I can't actually put out the fire, so I'm gonna try my best to just go in there and connect this up to the car, if possible. That looks like it is actually connected. We're now gonna close the door on here, close this up as well, and just floor it again. That's that's all we can really do. Not much else I can do. Turn the parking brake off, and okay, we've got the car. We have got the car. We're moving the plane around, but it is glitched into the ground. Oh, if it can turn fully, we might be able to pull the car out the back. Oh, this might work. I'm actually... Oh, no. Oh, no. This is so hard to control. Come on. I can't do it. I think we're stuck in the ground too now. Well, you know what? At least a rescue attempt was made. I'm actually going to get out of here because I know that this one is about to explode as well. Uh, clearly, that is not something that I want to be in. So let's just wait for the huge explosion on the wing. I don't know how long it's going to be, actually. Three. Oh, there it is. There it is. If that happened midair, like it did in that one, I guess we'd lose control again. But hey-ho, there you go. So, I figured we should actually give the car a little bit of love. This is a 1939 Standard Flying 8. The actual company is called Standard. It's kind of strange. Anyway. Oh, my! Okay, right, we can drift this thing. Let's see what kind of speed we can get up to going straight down the runway. And at the end, we'll try and drift it. So, currently, 50 miles an hour. Not too bad. Uh, we do have a klaxon on this thing. Ready? Three, two, one. I didn't realize that was even a noise in Stormworks. That's really cool. We have a heater in here. We have a flashlight. We have a buzzer. I think that's a klaxon. Um, we've got some stuff in the back as well. Uh, what speed are we going? 80 miles an hour in this thing. Yikes. That is, that is quite fast, actually. All right, we're at the end. We got to 82, I think. Holy, drift it around the corner. Why not? That is awesome. Pretty decent car, this thing. It's got an automatic gearbox. You can just whack it in reverse whenever you want. That is pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and park up real quick. Slap on the brakes. There we go. Open up the doors. There we go. Very nice. And let's have a little look at the back. Oh, yeah. It's got a proper boot. That is so cool. Uh, what else do we have? There's something else going on here. What is this? Refueling behind spotlight. Oh, that's just what it's telling us. Aha! Whereabouts? I guess it's somewhere in here. I, I don't know where you'd do it. Um, but yeah, this thing is actually really, really cool. And then if you run out of battery charge, you can crank it as well. That's cool. All right, well, um, that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this style of video, and I'll do more of these in the future. At least I hope so, anyway. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.